In this video, I'll show you the difference between the Osprey Farpoint 40 and 55. I'll compare the dimensions and volumes on these bags, go over the major differences and features, and then show you how to attach the different day pack options. Basically what we have here is a base 40 liter pack for both models, which you can see are virtually identical. The black Farpoint 40 here has loops on the front to attach an optional day pack, which is sold separately. Well, this blue Farpoint 55 comes with the 40 liter day pack that you see here, has the same fabric loops on the front, but it additionally comes with a 15 liter day pack included. The dimensions on the website are confusing because they're both listed at 22 by 14 by nine, or 55, 35, 23 centimeters. However, this is a 40 liter pack and this is a 55 liter pack. That obviously doesn't make any sense, so we can assume they're talking about the dimensions on the main part of the bag without the included day pack. You can see when I hold these bags up, they're both just loosely packed with clothes. The dimensions look virtually identical. Each of these bags has a sturdy wire frame on the back that's gonna determine the length and the width. And when I measure them, I can see that they are indeed exactly the same, about 22, and the max width on these things is more like 12 and a half, but they are identical. Because these have really good compression straps, the depth is gonna largely depend on what you put in here, but you can see they're roughly the same. I have them both packed. It's around almost 10 inches deep here. Obviously, if I attach this day pack here, it's not gonna affect the length or the width on this thing, but it's gonna add several inches to the depth. So just to be clear, the dimensions listed on the website for the Farpoint 55 are of the main 40 liter backpack without the day pack attached. Also to confirm the capacity on these bags is the same, I'll just do a quick volume comparison. To be fair, I'll pack the 55 full of loose clothes and then transfer it over into the 40 and see if they're the same. This is the main bag on the 55, fully packed, but not overpacked. Now here's all that same stuff transferred over into the 40, and you can see pretty much looks exactly the same. I'm not gonna go over the materials and hardware because they're identical. If you want more details, I have a preview of the Farpoint 40 on my site, and I'll be doing more in-depth reviews on both these packs shortly. Instead, in this video, I just wanna concentrate on showing you the main differences and features between these two bags and how to attach the different day packs. Starting with the exteriors on the Farpoint 40 and 55, the shape is identical. They have the same dimensions and volume, but there are a few differences in the features. Mainly being this front gear pouch, a top slash pocket, and a laptop compartment. This is the older model of the Farpoint 40. You can see they replaced the external front organizational pocket with the gear pouch on the new one. It's attached on the top and the bottom. There's no zipper in here. It's used for storing bulky items on the outside of your pack, like a jacket, maybe a towel. And you can see they don't have that same gear pouch on the outside of the Farpoint 55 because they're assuming you're gonna be using the attached day pack. Another feature missing off the Farpoint 55 is this top slash organizational pocket over here. You can see there's no such pocket on the 55. Again, this is because they're assuming that you're gonna be using it with the day pack attached, which has a similar top pocket. The last feature difference is this laptop compartment zipper located on the side. And you can see there is no such zipper over here on the 55. And then to show you this thing actually opens up the sleeve to this is inside the main compartment here. This thing's a little bit larger, holds about a 16 inch laptop, and this thing has a locking zipper. And then you can see the interior of the 55 obviously doesn't have that padded laptop sleeve. And this is for the exact same reason as those other changes. They're assuming that you're gonna be carrying the included day pack with this bag, which does have a laptop sleeve in there. It's a little bit smaller. This thing holds my 15 inch Dell, but it wouldn't hold anything much bigger. Also keep in mind that carrying the laptop up here on the day pack is gonna be a complete change in weight distribution from carrying it down here on the Osprey 40. Generally, it's better to have heavier objects closer to your back. That's all the differences on the outside of the bags. I'll just do a quick overview on the carry systems, which are also identical. They both have the same adjustable harness system here, 
They have the exact same shoulder straps. They have identical hip belts, buckles, pockets. And other than the color, this back padding is also exactly the same. They're also both stowable using the same fabric flap that rolls up and stores below the hip belts. Again, in this video, I just wanna cover the major differences in these packs. So I'm not gonna go over the carry systems or how these harnesses work. If you want more detail on these, I'll be posting individual reviews on each of these packs. Now we can move on to the interior on these packs, which as I mentioned earlier, the only difference is the presence or absence of that padded laptop sleeve. They both have the same lid opening, the interior dimensions and volume is the same, and they both have the same two luggage tie down straps. Then again, you can see the lap padded laptop sleeve, which has this external zipper access, which is absent from the Farpoint 55. This has two little toggles. You can attach this thing flat. I detached them so I could show you that the width is actually quite thin, which is why this doesn't impact the volume on the main compartment, unless of course you have a laptop in here. And then you can also see this is the top slash pocket, what the volume would look like on the interior. Again, the Farpoint 55 doesn't have this, and this could also potentially impact the volume if this pocket is full. There is one other slight difference. This mesh lid pocket over here on the 40 is just a little bit larger than the one on the 55. So really the biggest advantage I can see in the 55 is that it transfers some of these organizational pockets out of one bag into two bags. Now that we've gone over the major differences in the main packs, I wanna show you the three day packs and go over the options on how to attach them to each bag. The three day packs that are advertised as being compatible with the Farpoint are the Daylight 13 liter day pack here. This is the Daylight Plus 20 liter day pack. And this is the Farpoint Fairview travel day pack. I mentioned earlier that the Farpoint 55 comes with this day pack included, but you can also attach either of these other two day packs to this bag as well. The Farpoint day pack doesn't have those attachment straps on the top like the other two day packs. It instead has these two pass-through loops on the back for attaching it to the main bag. You're simply gonna lay the day pack on top of the Farpoint, run these two compression straps through the loops on the day pack, and then cinch them tight. And again, the Farpoint 40 has these exact same tie down straps on the top. So the attachment to this bag is gonna work exactly the same. Now I'll show you how to attach the other two day packs which have different volumes, but the exact same attachment setups. You're just gonna take this cinch strap on the top of the day pack, run it through the fabric loop, buckle it, and then cinch it down. The bottom of the pack has an additional adjuster buckle that you can feed through the bottom fabric loops. However, I found this really difficult to get in there and not really necessary for securing the pack. And because both Farpoint models have the same fabric loops in the same orientation, this attachment is gonna work identical. You can attach either of these day packs to either of the Farpoint models. One minor difference is the 55 has this additional fabric loop on the bottom middle of the pack. I'm not entirely sure what the point of this is, but I guess you could always run one of these buckles down through there for additional security. And then finally, there is one additional way to attach the Farpoint day pack that's not available on the other two day packs. You can see right here, this strap going into this little pocket on the shoulder straps, there's a small hidden buckle. The other end of the buckle is on the shoulder straps on both Farpoint models here in the middle. And then to show you, this is for attaching the day pack onto the front of the bag, if that's something you wanted to do. Before I wrap this up, I wanna give a quick breakdown on some of the pricing combinations on these bags. As of right now, the Farpoint 40 is listed at $185 and the Farpoint 55 is 220. The Farpoint Day Pack and the Daylight are both 65 and the Daylight Plus is 75. You can use any Day Pack in combination with any of the main bags, but for example, if you wanted the Farpoint 40 with the Farpoint Day Pack, that's gonna cost you $250 when you can basically get the exact same setup by just purchasing the Farpoint 55 for only $220. The Farpoint 40 with the Daylight Pack is also $250, and if you wanted it with the Daylight Plus Pack, that's gonna run you at $260.
So if you're thinking about getting any of the day packs with the Farpoint models, the best deal is to just get the Farpoint 55, which has the day pack included. In summary, basically what we have here is the exact same bag in two different versions. One has a laptop compartment included and no day pack. The other one has a day pack included and no laptop compartment. So to me, this begs the question on instead of this weird setup, why doesn't Osprey just sell two different versions of the main base model bag? One with a laptop compartment and a top slash pocket and the other one without, and then let you choose which day pack you want to go with it. That's all I have for the comparison between the Osprey Farpoint 40 and 55. Hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And again, thanks for watching.